So I'm going to give you a tour of Digo, which is something that I use extensively both with my faculty and with my personal learning network. Right now you see my Digo page, and this is my library, and if I go to my groups, you'll see that I have a number of different groups that I uh, participate with and get regular email updates when anything comes up from them. The Sidwell Friends group is one that I created, as well as a group for our local independent schools, um, and those are the, the Ames community, so those are the two that I contribute to frequently, and I also often contribute to the independent school collaboration. The other ones I mostly use as resources, occasionally posting to them. Now, how does one post to a Digo group? Well, it's a very useful resource. Um, you basically are just going to create, actually, I'm going to find a page I want to post to my group, which is that Pat Bassett article that was given to us today. And I've added this little Digolet um, toolbar to my browser. I had did that through the Digo website, which means I can click on bookmark. I can write a description, Pat Bassett on 21st century learning, and or I could write even more. I could tell somebody all about it, but I won't do that here. And then I can go through and I can pick some um, good tags, and tags, of course, are important. Um, and then I will go down here to more options, and I have lists and I have groups. I'm going to share this to my group, one of my groups. Sidwell Friends would be a good group to share it to. I'm always trying to give them more information. But I could go right back, click again, and I can share it to a second group, and I'll do that to my Ames community group. Because, again, I think these are that, that's a good way to include people. So um, now I've done that, and I can just keep adding. Um, when I'm in my, my own Digo, I can go between my groups and my library. I can also follow people who I think are imp posting important things. And it's become a huge resource for me. It's something that I use all the time.